same picture, let's talk about this other organelle. The endoplasmic reticulum is what all of this blue stuff is. And it's kind of wrapped around the nucleus a little bit. Remember up here in purple, this was the nucleus. And this other organelle is kind of wrapping, kind of hugging it a little bit. This is called the endoplasmic reticulum. And this is the major manufacturing center for the cell. This is where a lot of things get built, produced, um, and then sent to the next place they need to go to. Um, there are two different sections to the endoplasmic reticulum, or ER for short. The two different sections are, let me just point to them here. So we talked about how there's this section that has all the, the, the ribosomes, like studying the surface. This is called the rough endoplasmic reticulum. It's called rough because it looks rough. With all those ribosomes, it looks like a bumpy surface. So that's the rough ER. And then if we come out a little bit further, into this section, look at this area, there are no ribosomes here. So we call this the smooth ER, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. They do different things. Um, so the rough ER, this is really specialized for synthesizing proteins and packaging them up. The smooth ER, this, instead of building proteins, um, it helps to synthesize specific lipids. So, so uh, for example, some hormones get produced here by the smooth ER. And then the smooth ER also has the important job of packaging things up. It packages the proteins from the rough ER, and it also packages the lipids that it makes. And it ships them off to the next organelle for further processing. So next up, uh, where do they where do they go? Where do these little packages go? Let me just point to one of these little packages So literally what will happen is part of the smooth ER will kind of pinch off Remember it's it's membrane so it's able to to do this It'll kind of pinch off and right here this thing that I'm circling this is called a vesicle a vesicle is a little pouch um, that can travel <laughs> so this vesicle is packed with proteins or lipids or whatever the ER packaged up inside of it and <clears throat> excuse me and that vesicle will head off to the next organelle which happens to be this green one right here this is called the Golgi so that's the next thing we're going to talk about the Golgi apparatus is another organelle inside of the cell and this is the center that sometimes it's called like the UPS center of the cell. It's really um, specialized for, for refining, doing modifications, and then packaging things up and shipping them to their final destination. So those are the three major jobs that it has. It receives things from the endoplasmic reticulum, processes them, package them, packages them, and ships them out. Okay, so... Um, in order to do this very important job, the Golgi apparatus has to have enzymes inside, and it does. So it has special enzymes that allow it to um, process things, refine products from the ER into their final form. So maybe there was a package of proteins that came over from the ER, and those proteins just need a little bit more modification in order to take on their active form. Um, the Golgi might help with doing that final processing step. After the processing is done, then the Golgi will package things up in two vesicles and ship them to their final destination. And this gets really interesting. Like, how does it ship things to a specific location? Um, there are literally kind of the equivalent of address labels that get attached onto, um, onto the products that the Golgi ships out. And it has to do with certain chemical sequences that are included in the molecules. Um, it's really fascinating. This is something that we won't be going into a, a ton of detail in this class, but if you were to go on and take more biology classes, cell biology classes, you'd likely learn about this in more detail. Um, anyway, the coming over to the picture here, this whole green thing is the Golgi apparatus. It has a receiving side, so it receives vesicles from the ER over on this side, and then it processes things and all these membranes. And then over on this side, this is like the shipping side. And um, kind of similar to the ER, the way that it ships things off is a section of the membrane will pinch off and form a vesicle. And then that vesicle heads off to wherever it's supposed to go. So that's the Golgi. 
Let's talk about vesicles a little bit more. So vesicles, there are a variety of types of vesicles. We've been mentioning um, this type that's listed at the top, vesicles that ship and store cellular products. These are just kind of um, vesicles that they're designed to store one specific type of molecule, so they don't usually have a mixture. Usually it's like one specific type of protein or one specific type of lipid, um, and it can be they can be stored, so they don't have to go directly to their final destination. They can kind of be just packaged away and held in the cytoplasm for a time if they're not needed immediately. There are also vesicles that are called secretory vesicles. And these are vesicles that are designed to carry things out of the cell. So um, how would that happen? A vesicle that, that pinches off from the Golgi, if it comes over and fuses with the plasma membrane, then what's gonna happen? Its contents will just get dumped out of the cell. So that would be a secretory vesicle. We also have, kind of the opposite of that would be endocytic vesicles. These are vesicles that bring things inwards from the outside. Let me just point over here to this bacterium. Let's say that this cell, for some reason, wants to take in this bacterium. Um, maybe this bacterium doesn't belong in the environment and this is a cell that's gonna get rid of it, clean it up. Uh, so what would happen is the cell's plasma membrane would start to bulge inwards like this and um, form a little pouch around the bacteria. This is forming an endocytic vesicle. Okay, so now that bacterium is enclosed in this special vesicle and that can be processed inside of the cell. Finally, last on this list, peroxisomes and lysosomes. These are very specialized vesicles um, that contain enzymes, enzymes that are needed to do specific jobs. Uh, peroxisomes, these contain enzymes that allow us to, to deal with toxins. Um, there are a lot of peroxisomes, particularly in liver cells, cells of the liver, and um, they, they are, do a really fantastic job of detoxifying things from the bloodstream. So for alcohol, for example, would be one thing that the peroxisomes have to process and, and deal with. Um, so, the other one, lysosomes, what's the difference between peroxisomes and lysosomes? Lysosomes are primarily for digesting things, breaking down organic molecules. Um, and there are a couple of different reasons why cells need to do this. One is just to be able to process organic molecules, right? Get some building blocks in order to be able to use raw materials from the surroundings. But the other would be to maybe get rid of organelles that are old and no longer working correctly. That does happen inside of cells. Aging takes place and sometimes things need to be replaced. And lysosomes do a great job of cleaning up um, the internal environment of the cell. So coming back over to this bacterium that was engulfed, okay, this was an endocytic vesicle. What's gonna happen with that is it will fuse with a lysosome. So this is going to contain digestive enzymes that will combine with this endocytic vesicle and then the bacterium will get digested, literally, that way. And the waste products can then be released from the cell with a secretory vesicle. So that kind of does a nice job of pulling this all together. Okay, our last organelle that we are going to describe here briefly is the mitochondria. The mitochondria are the organelles that provide energy to cells. And the form of energy that cells really can make use of is ATP. This is a molecule we're gonna be focused in on um, a little bit later in this chapter, but the place where it is primarily produced is inside of these organelles. In order to produce ATP, cells have to take in oxygen. So the mitochondria uses oxygen. Um, it also needs some, some precursor molecules. We'll talk about these later on. And then in the process of making ATP, there's also a waste product that gets produced, and that's CO2. So this is the reason why we have to breathe in oxygen from the air, and when we breathe out, we're getting rid of CO2. It's actually from this organelle, is the thing that's using, and, um, using oxygen and making that waste product CO2. So we'll come back to this shortly. ATP gets used for tons of different things inside of cells, many different purposes, so we'll be seeing this one quite a bit.